Good afternoon. My name is Susan Bratton. I'm the founder and CEO of Saver Health. Saver provides personalized nutrition for cancer patients. This is a platform technology that we will replicate in other chronic conditions where proper nutrition has been shown to improve outcome. This is a $50 billion market opportunity addressing the needs of over 100 million Americans. Research confirms that poor nutrition is a pervasive problem in the cancer population, causing a third of all cancer deaths. When nutritional issues are addressed, both clinical and quality of life outcomes improve and healthcare spending is reduced. Our customers are patients and caregivers. And the three major impediments to proper nutrition that they face include, first, treatment side effects. For exhausted Eric, this is fatigue and lack of energy, which makes meal preparation difficult. He just needs someone to do it for him. Secondly, information overload. For inquisitive Irene, getting information and resources provides her with the control over her disease that she wants. Lastly, an absence of nutritional counseling, which for confused Kathy provides answers to her questions and the confidence that she's in good hands with a legitimate professional. Carrie Caregiver faces all of these impediments, and she just needs to have peace of mind to know that someone is going to help her help her loved one with cancer. Everybody needs to eat, but the problem we solve is what to eat. Through a smart recommendation engine, an algorithm, and a network of distribution partners, we provide patients with the right amount of calories and nutrients in a format that is designed to address their unique side effects, eating preferences, and other nutritional needs. This is a web-based application and ultimately a mobile app, whereby patients will provide us with their unique data which feeds into the technology platform and results in an output being a unique recommendation. So for Exhausted Eric, this is home delivery of meals, recommended by Saver and delivered by our partners. For Inquisitive Irene, this is individually curated recipes and content. And for Confused Kathy, it's a nutritional counseling session with one of Saver's oncology dietitians. We generate revenues on a fee-for-service basis, as well as through customization fees and affiliate fees. In the future, we'll be launching a subscription-based revenue service, as well as data mining. We launched and refined our product. We doubled our revenues last year over 2014 with no marketing dollars invested. We have formed industry partnerships and we're beginning pilot programs. In 2016, we're going to invest marketing dollars on a direct-to-consumer basis while at the same time focusing on the longer sales cycle industry distribution channel partnerships which serve to aggregate customers, scale revenues, and reduce customer acquisition cost. We compete on the basis that we're a comprehensive end-to-end -end solution based on evidence-based science and personalized to the patient level. We have a number of exciting industry partnerships and it's just the first inning. I've got a great management team and boards who come from some of the leading cancer institutions in the country. So why Saver and why now? Because research confirms that nutrition does matter and the healthcare and consumer industries acknowledge this, which will drive our growth. Thank you. Good job, Susan. So did I see on your slide that you're going from a million in revenue to 250 million in revenue? When we, uh, when we roll in all the other disease states. So that assumes that we, we go... We, a three-year period? In a five-year period. That's a pretty impressive growth rate. <laughs> I don't know about other VCs in the room, but I, unless you're selling you know, airplanes that cost $250 million a piece, how do you, how do, you do it's, that? It's aggressive, but what we're, what we're assuming is that we, we generate a, quite a bit of awareness after we build the cancer vertical. I mean, that's the goal, is to really build the vertical over three years and then roll in these other disease states. All right. Anyone else? Susan, what's your yes. background and what's your team's background? So um, I'm a recovering investment banker. I was a healthcare investment banker for about 20 years and um, started the business after losing a friend to a brain tumor. So I did a lot of research and decided to change my career. Um, Jessica's background, my COO, is an oncology credentialed registered dietitian. So she's had about 15 years in, in the business. And um, we have a CTO who's been at Amex and a number of other big companies. And then we're looking um, to bring on some other team members in the business development and the marketing roles. Anyone else got a question? So I, I love the focus on nutrition. Um, and I'm just wondering how you're thinking about not just helping through recommendations and meals managing chronic conditions, but actually developing um, evidence-based uh, products and services that actually help treat conditions and improve outcomes. So um, 
That's a great question. I'm glad you asked it. So one of the things that we want to do is capture great data on the patients so that we can look back through, through data mining and analytics and start to see what works and what doesn't work and then use, use the results of those, um, those, those, the, that analysis. And just as a follow-up, what, what's your core kind of expertise? Is it technology? Is it your team? that would allow you to kind of cross that kind Yeah, so it's a combination of the deep domain expertise that we have combined with the technology, kind of wrapped up in a technology platform. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Have you been able to do any studies or trials of any sort yet that show that your product has an impact on return hospitalization yep. or recovery? So we're just starting two pilot programs that look at four major endpoints, um, one being hospitalization rates, the second being ER visits, um, the third being use of supportive care pharmaceuticals, and the fourth being patient reported quality of life and satisfaction. Right. So hopefully we'll have that data soon. <laughs> Amanda? Are the partnerships that you formed with the food, food companies mm -hmm. that are actually delivering the product, um, are those uh, marketed with you or those um, branded with those food delivery companies? So um, we're marketed as Saver, um, and, and so, but they are, um, right now it's not marketed with them as a Saver product, but one of the things we're considering is since, we're, since it's a pass-through and we just charge a customization fee, why not team up and have them marketing the product as well, as it would be a great marketing for us. So it's one of the things we're looking at for 2016. Any other questions from the panel? We have a minute left. Anybody have one question from the audience? One? Over there. Oh, nope. You. The hood. Is, did you have your hand up? Oh, that's a great question. So, we used to be called something else, and I changed the name to Saver because I want people to come to our company and feel like they can savor life. It's not just about savoring their food, but it's savoring your food, it's savoring your relationships, it's savoring your life. So we want it to be a very positive experience. Thank you for asking that question. That was clearly not an AARP member, but a very valid question. All right, great. Thank you very much, Susan.